possible to uh, break down these barriers that exist uh, between, not necessarily between religions, but uh, I have noticed there seem to be barriers between a person's religious life and their the business life or going into the business community because when, when one participates in a religion, you are generally with people all of your uh, of your own general thinking, but when you get into business, there's a, a much greater mix, uh, or uh, sports, for instance. Uh, uh, is it possible to break these barriers? What will it take? I think it's easier, and again, I think that the laity aspect of this in, is important. It's, it's, it's easier for laymen than it is for, for theologians of, or clergy, because the layman already crosses these barriers all the time. I mean, clergy, I'm, I'm not trying to put down clergy, but clergy, by the very nature of their professional life, are more likely to live in a, in a world which is defined by religion. Uh, uh, the layman, uh, unless he's a very unusual case, is constantly rubbing shoulders with all kinds of people at work and his leisure time activities. You, you know, our solution to this problem until now was that the public language was a lot less religious than the actual lives of people. In other words, the very religious people you were speaking about, which are clearly in a majority in the United States, when they went into the business world, because people weren't all like them, tended to be a little bit more silent about their own particular beliefs than they really felt. And uh, what's changing a bit, though I don't really know what form it will take, is that people are beginning to be a bit more public about their private religious beliefs, and the public language of the country is beginning to change. And I